Hello, and thank you for joining me for another edition of the Weekly Wrap-Up. Student success is at the core of the work we do each and every day, and as we approach the final week of the school year, there is much success to celebrate. Here are some highlights from this week. Earlier this week, Hillcrest hosted the third annual art show. The students at Hillcrest had the opportunity to create, plan, and prepare for this event. Hillcrest's acronym for this year is BEST, Believe Everyone Soars Together. And this week, I took great pride in watching these students' talents and confidence soar high. Thank you to the entire Hillcrest team for the coordination of this year's art show. Also this week, I was able to attend the University of Florida Coaching Academy Showcase, where for the first time, we had 15 Marion County Public Schools instructional leaders celebrated graduating from the Coaching Academy, and they received their UF Coaching Certificate. It was amazing to hear their powerful testimonies about how impactful this was, even for our veteran coaches. So thank you for everyone who participated in this amazing academy. As we stay focused on our vision of helping every student succeed, I would also like to congratulate several students from Howard Middle School on their recent success in the Florida History Day state competition. Florida History Day is an annual statewide activity that enhances the teaching and learning of history in middle and high schools. Students benefit from competitions like this because it presents an opportunity to conduct self-directed research, identify and analyze sources, and learn presentation skills. Congratulations again to this year's winners. Today we kicked off our 2023 graduations with Hillcrest School. I want to do a special appreciation today for Hillcrest and all they've done, remarkable efforts, and thank you all staff for recognizing how we help every student succeed. Before we close today, I would like to thank all the high school students who also served on my Student Advisory Council this school year. These quarterly roundtable listening sessions have provided me as your superintendent with valuable information about how our decisions are impacting the whole student body and insight into additional ways we can work together to help every student succeed. As we move into the final week of the 2022-23 school year, I would like to thank everyone for their hard work this year. Let's finish this next week strong. Have a good week. Thank you.